I'm Neil Farrer, uh, semi-retired beekeeper now. I was a uh, small commercial running up to about 400 hives. I've been a beekeeper for mm, well over 40 odd years. Uh, I've been on national executive for the NBA as it was before the merger and of course I've been prominent in the Southern North Island beekeeping circles and other local clubs over the years. Just thinking back to when I first started with Feed Bee, uh, previous to that I had used many different sorts as beekeepers were in those days. Uh, some of them were soy based, some of them were casein based. Uh, we all had various mixes and yes they helped but it wasn't enough. And what I found with experimenting with feed bee was that the protein content of feed bee could all be absorbed by the bees and they benefited from it. So when I was using the soy product for Agam Soap, soy had, I think from memory, 45% protein, but the bees could only take up 5%. So with feed bee, uh, the protein was all there and it was all eaten by them and the benefit was immense. One of the experiments I did is, um, I had an apiary out at uh, Matarawa Valley, which is just a few k here out of town, beside the railway line, and it's all pasture, so there's nothing else there. It's a nice site for summer, and I was using it for queen raising and nukes. So I fed the feed bees as a trial to some of the nukes, half of them roughly, and the other half I just carried on as I would normally. And it was absolutely incredible the development on those nucleus hives. So within the space of two months, I brought them up to a full production hive. Uh, that was remarkable. Yeah, I couldn't have done that before. <laughs> I, I used the patties basically from mm, mid-August um, through to October, and that was spring development. But where I was uh, queen raising, or particularly nukes, I would use it as an additional supplement feed any time of the year. And then of course the prime time again is when you're thinking of wintering down after you've taken your harvest off. That again was a key time to put in patties which helped the development of those wintering over bees. So nice fat healthy bees. So I experimented with 300 gram size patties and I also competed of course with the other products which I was making up at that time. I still had some left over and they weren't even in the same street. And then I found that with other products that did become available in New Zealand, and there are now a couple of other choices, they all were all using 500 grams or a kilo of the product in the hive. I found with 300 grams I could get the same or better results. And this was proved subsequently with some research that was done in Canada uh, by some scientists, and they used the known protein patties in America and Canada. So that included the likes of Mega B and oh, I forget all the other sorts that they had over there, but they used them all, including Feed Bee, of course. And they found that 300 grams of Feed Bee would do the job as well or better than any of the others. So I didn't need to go any further. <laughs> I also found that beekeepers that were trying it came back to me and said, it's worthwhile, we're getting the results. In fact, one beekeeper sent me photographs of a hive which he pulled apart and said, this is what I'm seeing. And he had wall-to-wall -wall brood. So to him, it was certainly worthwhile. And he was a very good customer for many years. And others exactly the same. So I felt it was good value for money.